January 17th, 2017. Truck rolls down a Wisconsin highway. It's a cold and icy night. Just before 9 p.m., disaster rears its ugly head. Stressed by unyielding precipitation and wind, the truck's container disintegrates, spilling its contents onto the roadway. When the sheriff's deputy arrives and inspects the damage on the road, he sees nothing but red. Skittles! But that wasn't the strange part because later that night, the sheriff's deputy would discover that mysterious shipment was bound for... Welcome to Legion Weirdos, where you get party conversation education. I'm explainer entertainer Christopher, and you and I, we're the weirdos. If you need better conversation for your social situation, click that subscribe icon and the little bell that comes afterward. Today, we're talking about cows that eat candy. What do you think cows eat? I don't know. What do you think they eat? Grass. What do you think cows eat? Leaves. Leaves? Do you think cows eat candy? No. No. No? Cows don't eat candy? No. Believe it or not, some farmers have been feeding their cows candy since at least 2012. That year, Reuters reported the worst drought in half a century, which drove corn prices through the roof. As a result, the price for a ton of rejected candies was about half the price of a ton of feed corn. Brokers began gathering up rejected candy and food products and put them out for the highest bidder, and farmers bought them up to keep feeding their animals without breaking the bank. What if I said, cows eat gummy worms? Yeah. <laughs> no, you don't think they do? That's disgusting. That's disgusting? What if I said, cows eat sprinkles that you put on your cupcakes? It's been reported that some American cows have been consuming cookies, gummy worms, marshmallows, Fruit Loops, and ice cream sprinkles. According to CNN in 2012, a ton of feed corn cost $315, while ice cream sprinkles could be had for $160 a ton. Apparently, cows have also been fed things like orange peels, dried cranberries, cottonseed holes, rice, potatoes, and peanuts. By the way, this video is brought to you by my affiliate link for the utterly fantastic cow mug from Boston Warehouse. A 20 ounce mug with a Holstein pattern, perfect for your milk, your coffee, or you could just keep Skittles in it. And also the mmm candy t-shirt. Links in the description. Joseph Watson, owner of United Livestock Commodities, has claimed that a lot of these alternative food sources have a higher concentration of fat than just straight feed corn and that they contain all the right nutrients for cattle. John Waller, a now retired professor from the University of Tennessee, has said he thought it was a viable diet for the animals and it might actually be greener than food corn in that it keeps fat material from going into the land and it's a good way to get nutrients into these cattle. The alternative would be to put it in a landfill somewhere. But what do cows normally eat? Let's ask a farmer. Hey weirdos, it's Kara from Kara's Life on the Farm. Here we are in Idaho and this is how we do things. Sorry for the wind, it's always windy in Idaho. There are the cows out in the pasture. There's one of the bulls right there. Okay, so here's the cows eating their mixture. Is that delicious? All right, we've got some hay here. Here's some corn, or this is hay silage. Yep. And corn. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on here. I think they've mixed this together. You can see there's a little bit of corn in there. This is grain and barley. This little nugget is um, cotton seed, which we're going to discontinue feeding pretty soon. We have a nutritionist that um, helps us figure out what to feed these cows. And this is chopped barley. Uh huh. I go to a cow's that, okay. that, that had babies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but these bags go to the calf. Okay, and here's some calf starter mix. This is just what they give the calves when they're starting to learn how to eat food. And it's got some paper in it. Anyway, it's got all sorts of goodies in it. I know when most of you think cows, you think grass pastures, especially thanks to the food snobs who tout grass-fed beef, etc. Before we continue this candy conversation, I want to acknowledge these sugar mamas and daddies who bring you this content. Fatel83, Gma Lolly, Daniel, Molly, and Alex from Needs More Subs. If you want shout outs like this, head to the Patreon page and join them. Do Kara's cows eat candy? So we don't feed Skittles, but we do have molasses. 
kind of uh, you know sticks everything together, gives the rumen something to digest early on. Molasses is the key ingredient in those horrible Mary Jane candies that old people like to give out. So if Carol wants to be a cool grandma someday, she's gonna have to stock up on better sweets. Some other cattle feed sources that might seem weird to anybody, but if farmer include ground limestone as a cheap source of calcium, crab guts and fish heads for protein, and some farms feed calves blood. Huh? But if you watch videos from Minute Earth, you'll know that milk is just filtered blood anyway. Thoughts? Talk with your hands and with your thumbs. Rate it even if you hate it. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay weird and stay out of the comfort zones. And this is my five-year-old. He's a little smaller than average, and he's having a problem. There. No, stop it!